As lawmakers prepare for a second special session, there's a lot at stake at the Texas Capitol. The decisions they make could play a huge role in shaping the state's future, and Texas children are watching. That fact is not lost on state leaders. They're taking different approaches to keep kids in mind as they craft policy for the future. Every day at the Texas Capitol, visitors stop and snap a selfie with a smile next to this monument. The life-size bronze statues put up more than two decades ago depict kids on a Capitol field trip. These youngsters set their gaze on this historic building and the people who work inside of it. A peek out the window of the House floor, there they stand, paying attention. They watch when lawmakers debate the future of education and argue energy policy. And they're watching now while legislators draw battle lines over voting rights. I hope that my kid and every Texas kid takes from this how critical the freedom to vote is. I hope they take from it that our democracy is worthy of protection. That effort to carry on the work current policymakers are tackling is not lost on them, no matter the topic, no matter the political party. And for kids out there, no, work as hard as you can, get involved, get active and engaged in this process. And then however it shakes out, the, you know, consequences come from that. Lucy Baines Johnson knows about being involved. I was able to stand behind my father and, and see the world change forever. Her father, President Lyndon Baines Johnson, signed the Civil Rights Act of 1964 on her 17th birthday. She was also present for the signing of the Voting Rights Act of 1965, 56 years ago, Friday. I knew that my pa parents, who had very purpose-driven lives, were doing it for me, for my children, for my grandchildren. Lucy Baines Johnson just reminded us that not only was she a political kid, her dad was a political kid in the Texas legislature while his father served. Um, and so I think we've, we've seen the results of children being at the front lines of this fight. They care, they get engaged, and they keep making, making progress. Maybe soon this moment in history will inspire the next generation to come to this capital full time under the watchful eyes of a new crop of kids. One of the House members you just heard from in that story was a Fort Worth Republican Matt Krause. He has five young children of his own, and the special session has kept him away for much of the summer. I asked him how the back and forth between the parties this summer is affecting his own kids. They're a little frustrated with the Democrats because we've had two uh, vacations that have not been allowed to happen because of this kind of stalemate. And so, but, but any kid's going to be like that. And I know there are uh, my colleagues across the aisle who have kids. It's been tough on them as well. And so um, uh, they don't see it as much as a partisan issue. Uh, they just see it as a daddy's not home. I wish he was home. We're having to miss out on these things for him to go there and really not do much. Lawmakers from both parties will be away from home a little bit longer. The second special session is underway now and scheduled to last through the first week of September. Thank you again for joining us for State of Texas. I'm Wes Rappaport. Our team will be back next week to bring you an in-depth look at Texas politics.